Hello my friends. Here is a bird feeder that costs less than two dollars to make and it's made for feeding sunflower seeds. So let me show you how it's done. Here's a few of the items that I gathered. I have an old funnel that was in my shop. This is a lid from a five gallon bucket. Uh, some wire. Uh, you can use coat hanger. And this it was a garbage basket that I'm kind of modified. I have a box of light fixtures that is destined to habitat for humanity. And I think I'm going to use some of these with the feeder. These are the items I'm going to use. First thing that I want to do is drill a couple holes in here. And I'm going to mark those. That's going to be for the wire that's going to hold the whole unit together. Okay, then what I need to do, I'm going to use this funnel so that the seeds will not congregate to the center so that they will move to the outside where it will push all the feed to be usable. If I didn't have that in there, there would always be seeds sitting in the center. And of course, uh, they would probably uh, mold and rot. So this will keep the seeds flowing to the outer perimeter. Now this wire screen will allow the birds to pick the seeds out or the squirrel. This is a basket that came from the Dollar Tree. So everything at the Dollar Tree cost one dollar. So we're going to use this and what we don't need is the bottom. So we're going to remove this. These tin snips are much quicker and easier. That's the way to do it. After that's been removed, these holes are too big for the seeds. So what we want to do is crimp this. And as you do this, this makes those little triangles much closer together. So we just keep squeezing it together to the shape that we want it. And up near the top, because of this outer rim, we can't bring it in the same, but we can narrow it like this. And then this outer rim is going to hold our cover, our lid. Reminds me of almost working like with clay, like doing pottery. Okay, that'll hold it. Okay, then once that's mounted like this to hold this unit together, I'll drill three or four holes. I'll probably do four in here to wire together. And of course, we need two holes in each pair like that so I can run the wire through that and hold it okay well let's get drilling and then you need to have holes around the perimeter so that water will not set on this tray piece of copper wire works perfect for this. It's soft and it doesn't rust. So we're going to feed this into the holes. Now to hold this centered, I'm going to take a piece of wire. Actually I'm going to take two pieces of wire. I'm going to make a loop like this. I'm 
and I'm going to span this over the center like that. Centering it. The hole is centered. Now we get one this direction. Bend the ends at 90 degrees, making sure that these align up. Just like that. Now I'm taking a wire about two and a half foot long and I'll feed this from the bottom, come up through the center and through these two holes, the two loops, right like that. Okay, now the bottom, we're going to make a U-shape to fit in here. Now I don't want seeds to go into the funnel so I'm going to take a piece of duct tape go inside here. You could use caulking or some type of plumber's putty and wrap that hole or plug it with a cork and put a hole through. This is quicker you don't have to wait for it to dry and if you start with this wire first you can bend it on the other side. This duct tape won't allow the wire to feed back through. Okay, next what you want to do is put the lid on it. And that's this globe from my light fixture. And we slide this over. And we bend a loop to hang it. Right there. This is uh, from Dollar Tree, dollar a piece. These funnels, it's a three pack for a dollar. Take the heavy wire, this is 30 inches long. And we're going to bend it, stick the long end through the center hole, smaller one through the, bot the second hole, bend it over. Right like that. Load your funnel. Bend it on like that. Do all four of them that way. Take a piece of duct tape and seal the end of the funnel off. And this keeps the seeds from going inside the funnel. Here's the light fixture, light sh shade. Next, we bend a hook to the top. And there we are finished with our second feeder.
Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.